Welcome to another A Industries bonus video. Today we'll be looking at gun type weapons and their effects. First up, I'll just need to put down this target and I'll just stick it over here for the short range testing. Alright, legs down. There we go. No problem, nothing. Boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. I got this done. Whoa, good. All right. It's alright, it's alright, I got this. I got this. There's absolutely no pro problem. I think we're fine. 50 cal! Mm. So it takes a little while, even at this range. You'll see the goalkeeper does a lot of damage a lot faster. Ah, 30mm chain gun, not too bad. Falcon, not such fast DPS, but huge round output. And laser. Ah, we'll take it. So. We discovered the laser is quite damaging. Um, I spoke to Bahamoto D about it, and um, he pointed out that we have an inverse square law with the laser, so we'll try it at longer ranges. First off, this is the 50 cal at a kilometer. Not terribly accurate. Now, the goalkeeper, you might notice, is shooting high. So, I noticed, and um, see the platform I'm using, <laughs> it uh, rocks, even with the legs down. So on a more sturdy platform, it'll be a much more accurate gun. We'll just have to use the cones of fire to sort of get an idea of how accurate they are. So 30mm chain gun. Quite a wide cone actually for even just this range, but it hits pretty hard. And the laser, still chewing through stuff, but nothing like the speed it was doing before. So the difference is noticeable already. And the Vulcan, which is a quite reasonable weapon to be using at sort of this or higher ranges. Quite a narrow cone. And the goalkeeper does level out if you give it a sec. Compensate for its recoil. I guess that's just as the frame stabilizes. 30mm still not, but the laser, as usual, is the choice for hitting close, tiny targets. So, we've gone up to a little bit further away. We're up at um, two kilometers here. Uh, 30 millimeter, still disappointing. Just aiming a little low so I can compensate for that recoil. Doesn't seem to help at all if I pulse or if I just aim low. 50 cal, set. Mm, let's have a look at the cone. Can't really tell from there. Let's try from a bit further back. Now, you'll notice that we just overheated the laser. We're, we're only at two kilometers, and it's already really obvious that this laser has slowed down. We're getting through two plates for every overheat. And as you can see, the goalkeeper, same damage even at this range. The issue with the bullet weapons is that they have a harder time hitting, they're just the slight inaccuracy that they have over the laser makes them suffer. All right, three kilometers. Try the 50 cal. Spreading out all over the place, but it's not really intended for 
this kind of range. The goalkeeper? The 30 millimeter chain gun. It's um, definitely not accurate enough for this kind of range. And the Vulcan. Still surprisingly narrow arc on the Vulcan, and it's not scoring many hits. Laser damage. That's a full charge to overheat without taking out a plate. So it looks like a little under a plate each charge. That's three kilometers. So that damage has dropped off quite a bit. Now, one more distance change to four kilometers. I did try another one at five kilometers, but the um, stuff starts despawning at those ranges. So you uh, struggle to actually hit the target. I'll turn on the heat display so you can see as we hit things they do slightly brighten up. This is one of the reasons for me doing this in the dark. The, the other is obviously that the uh, bullets stand out. So if you keep an eye on the left panels here... Oh, still not hit anything. So we'll try the Vulcan with its accuracy, but keep an eye on the panels. You'll see them lighten. There, we've got the one in the back. Just got winged. Now, the Vulcan doesn't do much damage per shot. It just saturates an area with lots of bullets. So we got another little hit there. So at this kind of range, although it does hit as hard as bullets usually do, like they don't suffer from range as much as the laser. Um, it's still not hitting often enough against a small target like this for it to be useful. So we'll try the 30mm chain gun just to see if its accuracy has somehow improved. Bullets are slow in this as well, like they, they're taking a long time. You might um, be able to see that from the time you hear the gun shoot to the time they land. quite some time. Yep. And let's try the uh, goalkeeper. You'll see that the 30mm uh, just hit the plate on the right there and it's lit right up all the way to yellow. So the thing with the goalkeeper and the bulleted weapons is that uh, the range doesn't drop off nearly so much. So if we go with the laser, note how little this is raising now. And we are rocking all over the place. So it's now over two overheats just to take out a single panel. Whereas two stray shots from a goalkeeper would be enough to take out a panel. So there you have it. Different guns at different ranges. The laser isn't just the go-to be-all and end-all anymore. Thanks for watching.